Good morning. If you have ever wondered when will I stop talking about building projects, this is the reason why I will never stop talking about building projects for now. Do you know that for us to match our house deficit in Nigeria, we need to build 700,000 houses in the next 10 years for us to be able to match our house deficit in Nigeria. That means for every year, we need to build 700,000 houses in the next 10 years. And if you understand how the Nigerian government reacts, then you will know that, yes, actually, if we want to achieve sustainable housing in our dear nation, then you must bring in your best and also I must bring in my best. Good morning as I welcome you to this piece this morning and I titled Seven Secrets That Can Help You Achieve Your Building Project in 2023. Seven Secrets That Can Help You Achieve Your Building Project in 2023. Well, guess what? Some persons might have been asking, Victor, what is a project? A project is a temporary endeavor that you embark on as an individual or a group of persons embark on. But guess what? This project has a time frame. So any project that doesn't have a time frame, sorry, is not a project. You are only just embarking on a stroke. And this is why I'm releasing the seven secrets to you this morning. And I hope that as you go through the seven secrets in the year 2023, trust me, you will achieve your project goal. Number one, Decide exactly what you want to build. What do you actually want to build? Decide what you want to build. Call your wife on the table. If you're a woman that wants to build, call your husband on the table. If your children are grown up, bring your children on the table. You guys should sit down together and do what? Take a decision on what you want to build. I've seen scenarios where the husband wants a bungalow and the wife wants a duplex. I've seen scenarios where the wife wants a five-bedroom duplex and the husband wants a four-bedroom duplex. I've seen scenarios where the wife wants a duplex that has a void in the living room, but the husband is saying, no, I, I, want, I don't want the void in the living room. Decide on what you want to build. Because if you fail to decide on what you want to build, then trust me, you will eat the brick at some point and that project will actually fold up. Number two, write it down. So don't just say to yourself that this is what I want to build and then you walk away. No. As you are fucking with your wife and your children or your husband and your children, take up your pen, your note, write it down. You know why? Whenever your goal is written down, you have crystallized that goal. Trust me, whenever you write your goal, you have crystallized that goal and you have given it a form of tangibility. That means something that you can see. You can actually see, you can actually feel. Write down that goal. Now you, your wife and your children, you have concluded that, oh, we want to build a four-bedroom duplex, a five-bedroom duplex with a penthouse, whichever one you want to build. Write it down. Tip number three, set a deadline. Set a deadline. You will attest to the fact that when I define what a project is all about, I said a project is a temporary endeavor that you embark upon that has a time frame. So if you fail to set a deadline, trust me, you're only just taking a stroke. Why? Because failure to set a deadline is giving room for procrastination. So, um, we want to build a four bedroom or a five bedroom duplex. You've written that down, set a deadline. I want to achieve this project in the next three years. I want to achieve this project in the next four years. I want to achieve this project in the next five years. Set a deadline. How? Because you know what, you know how your income comes in. Right now that you know how your income comes in, you can say, Okay, fine, I have the ability to save up XYZ amount. 
set a dead line to achieving your project goal tip number four make a list of everything that you can think of that you are going to have to do to achieve your goals what and what do you think would help you achieve your goal make a list of those things prioritize them make a list of those things you need to do okay fine uh, I, need, I know I, you don't have a land then that means you need to get the land in getting the land which state do you want to get the land in nigeria is it in delta state is it in a Doe state is it in ogun state is it in lagos state i've seen a client uh, they probably have about four or five properties in Edo State. And the wife is saying, oh, sorry, uh, where you have those properties, I cannot live there. This is where I want to live. Yes. The wife is saying, this is where I want to live. And the husband has no choice. Because you know what it means. If you fail to give your wife what she wants, she will give you a problem. Yes, for those persons who are married, they understand. You get the point. I mean to say that you have to make a list of whatever you want to do and how you will achieve those goals. So if it's to get a land, you make a list. This is the state I want to get a land. In a those state, this is the community I want to get a land. You should know why. We're not just, I've seen people who have lands in several places but cannot go there to build because in one way or the other, maybe their wife is saying we cannot live there or they just know, ah, man, this place, at the end of the day, I cannot live here. Tip number five, organize the list into a plan. Organize the list into a plan. And this aspect is very, very taxing and very, very tedious. Why? Because the planning phase of any project determines the success of that project. The planning phase of any project determines the success of any project. I mean to say that in this phase, I will advise that you get the services of a professional. So you don't just start working in the woods, in the dark. Get the services of a professional. If it costs you to pay that person, pay that person. Let that person give you a detailed plan. What and what are we going to be doing? I want to build a four-bedroom bungalow. What do I need? The person will tell you, okay, fine, the first thing we need is a land. Oh, I already have a land. Is the land secured? Yes, the land is secured. What's the next thing I need to do? The next thing I need to do is to get an architectural design of what I want to build. You come up with architectural design after you vet the architecture. Oh, it's beautiful. This is what I want to build. Okay, fine. The project manager now tells you, okay, this and this and this is what you need to achieve your project first. Why? Because it is his duty as a project manager to help you break your project into stages from the foundation to the deepest stage from the after the deepest stage then you carry out your filling process when you are done with the filling process then you can do a proper ramari you can do a proper ramari you can decide to do your german flow at that point in time or you can decide that, okay fine let me pick up the project without doing the german flow at that point in time you pick it up from that german flow to the lintel phase and from the lintel phase you cast your lintel after you cast your lintel, you set your two, three coaches are waiting for the parapet phase. After the parapet phase, and then you are roofing. That is the first stage, the carcass. It takes an expert to sit down with you to tell you, these are the numbers of rods you need. These are the numbers of wood you need. These are the numbers of blocks you need. These are the numbers of cement you need. If you do not have a professional on board, how then do you have access to this information? Trust me, you will just be walking in the dark. I said, organize the list into a plan. Tip number six, take action on your plan immediately. Immediately you have come up with your plan, take action. You don't have a land, go and buy a land. You have a land, go and do your design. You have done your design, sit down with the project manager and come up with the project budget for that project okay you know so okay fine okay i have one three million or i have one four million this four million will take me to this phase execute do you know why a plan that is executed a rough plan that is executed is more better than a well detailed plan that is never executed a rough plan that is executed is more better than 
a well detailed plan that is never executed. And this is why I want to appreciate everyone. Everyone, I want to appreciate everyone who are taking the time in one way or the other to start up, in short, to mold one block. I salute you. It takes a whole lot of courage to come out from that shell, to face the fear. It takes a whole lot of courage to go and buy a piece of land. Do you know why I don't blame you? Because of the many issues that we are facing in our nation and also in this profession as well. How people tend not to be trustworthy, how people misbehave a lot. But should that stop you from making a move? I think the answer is a no. Number seven, resolve to do something every single day on your project. Resolve to do something. Bring out your note. Check your list. Where am I? What am I, what am I supposed to be doing? What stage are we supposed to be? Trust me. If you follow these seven tips in this year, 2023, you will thank me later. My name is Remain Victor Olise. And if you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, kindly hit the subscribe button right about now. Subscribe to our channel. And if you desire our services, you can reach us on 070-6315-1558. Don't forget that my goal this year is divided into three phases. The first is to help 500 people secure 500 plots in the year 2023 to help just 50 people that's my goal 50 people to manage their project in 2023 and to help 150 people buy houses in nigeria in the year 2023 trust me my duty is to push you to developing your property thank you and god bless you my name still remain victor will listen thank you